something else that featured in the 2015 Iran uh, nuclear deal negotiations was the amount of snacks that were consumed by the American <laughs> team. There's, yeah. if I have this correct, 10 pounds of Twizzlers, 30 pounds of mixed mm. nuts and dried fruit, 200 Rice Krispie treats, and uh, 20 pounds of string cheese. Which one of those was your favorite? <laughs> well, I actually was probably a licorice person at that point, oh. but I've now moved on to Swedish fish uh, as my uh, sweet of choice. I, I eat uh, carbs probably more than I eat sweets. I give a lot of credit to the embassy team, which really kept everybody mm. with hydration and uh, snacks. And the uh, staff at the Coburg Hotel, uh, which is where we all lived for 27 days, I ate exactly one meal outside of that hotel. They put on buffets for us every day uh, for lunch and for dinner. Everybody had breakfast pretty much in their room. Um, it was just wonderful. And at 4th of July, they actually found hot dogs, hamburgers, and really? corn on the cob in were those Austria. Things, were those sorts of things, hot dogs and uh, uh, corn on the cob and, and all these varied snacks, did, did you desire uh, something that reminded you of the United States? Was that something that was more than just... Well, snack occasionally in the 4th of July celebration, which I got to go to for exactly 20 minutes, it uh, was just a very generous uh, uh, thing that the staff at the Coburg Hotel did uh, to just acknowledge that Americans were stuck here. You know, a lot of my European counterparts could go home for a day uh, because we were in Austria. Uh, but the Americans were pretty much stuck in Vienna. I did encourage some of my staff to go home for a weekend, uh, particularly those who had families, small kids, or uh, parents that were not doing well, because um, this was tough going to stay one place. And I was there for 27 days. Uh, secretary Kerry was there for two and a half weeks, the longest that any Secretary of State has stayed in one place. Uh, and some of my colleagues had been there even before I was there. So this is a very long haul. 